All right, let's discuss the not so glamorous, but absolutely necessary topic of keeping your website legal. The majority of bloggers, online entrepreneurs, small business owners don't realize how important it is to protect their website and blog legally. So legal pages are often overlooked when creating a website because number one, you may be unaware that you even need them, or number two, you have no idea how to go about creating these pages with the information that is needed. And so you just avoid it altogether. And I have to admit that that was me a few years back. And if this is you too, I want you to know that this is a huge mistake. You definitely want to have legal pages in place on your site in order to avoid those unnecessary legal troubles and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of legal fees should an issue arise. So in this video, I'm going over how to legally protect your website and blog easily and quickly with three legal pages you must have on your site from the very start. I'm covering what these legal pages are, where to get them, and how to get them on your site today in less than an hour. Super simple, so you can quickly do this and move on to doing what you do best with that peace of mind of being protected legally. Hi, I'm Maureen from thecreativeimpact.com, where I help creative small business owners and entrepreneurs with strategic show up website design, templates, and business trainings so that they can stand out, sell more, and stress way less about the tech and design in their business. If this sounds like information that you are interested in, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the links in the show notes below to learn about how I can best help you create an impact with your business. Now, before I get into how to legally protect your website and blog and what pages you need on your site, I want to quickly put out a disclaimer that I am not a lawyer. The information that I am giving you in this video is for informational purposes only. It does not constitute legal advice in any way. So I just want you to know I'm not liable for any damages resulting from using the information in this video. I do advise you to consult a lawyer for advice on your unique situation. I'm going to be sharing what has worked for me and all my students and clients. All right, let's get into this. There are a minimum of three legal pages that you must have on your site to help protect yourself and your business. And these are your number one, your privacy policy page, number two, your terms and conditions page, and number three, your disclaimer page. Let's first start with the privacy policy page. So a privacy policy page states how a company or website collects, handles, and possesses data of its customers and visitors. This is a page that is required by law on your site, and it explains how the information you collect is used. So this page will help protect you legally and provide your audience with clear details on exactly how you use their information. Now, since a website can be viewed by people all over the world, you need to make sure that your site complies with laws across the world. So privacy policy is also needed to comply with things like the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, as you've probably heard it called, which is a European Union law. And you also have to make sure that all other privacy laws in your state or country are covered. So some things that should be included on your privacy policy page is information that you collect from visitors to your site. It should include children's privacy information, how information is collected via cookies, contact forms, social media shares, web beacons, and pixels. It should include the use of third-party links, visitor rights, how to opt out of communication with you and third parties. And it should also include your contact information for any further questions. Now, if you're at this point like, whoa, I have no idea how to add that information, where to get that information, hold tight. After I go over the all three of the legal pages you need, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get this information without needing to know it all yourself. Okay, the second page you must have on your site to legally protect your website and blog is that terms and conditions page. Your terms and conditions page, or sometimes it's known as terms of use or terms of service, this is your website rules. It helps explain what's permitted on your site and what is prohibited. It forms a legal binding contract between you and your website user. So some of the things that should be included in a terms and conditions page are a mention of your privacy policy and disclaimer, 
mandatory arbitration and governing law, intellectual property, lawful use of website, third party links, refund and warranty policies, reservation of your rights information and things of that nature. And the third page that you must have on your site to legally protect your website and blog is a disclaimer page. You do not want to be held legally responsible for anything that you publish on your site or your blog. So this disclaimer page helps protect you from lawsuits. This page is where you disclaim or deny liability for the content you publish on your site. And it warns your visitors that they are solely responsible for any kind of actions that they take as a result of the information published on your website or blog. Some things that should be included in your disclaimer page are the general disclaimer, any affiliate or third party links disclosure and disclaimer, your earnings disclaimer, uh, testimonial disclaimers, any, if you do any sponsored posts or reviews, those type of disclaimers, fair use disclaimer, no warranties, limited of liability, things of that nature. Okay, now that you know what legal pages you must have on your site and what each legal template should include, you're probably asking, well, where do I get these legal pages from, right? You, you can't come up with this stuff all on your own out of your head. So there are three ways that you can get these pages two of which are paid and one of which is free. So number one, you can hire a lawyer. You can work with a lawyer to create customized legal pages for your specific business. This will be your most expensive option, but if you want or need legal documents highly customized to your specific business and you have the funds to do so, this may be the best option for you. Now, option number two, you can purchase legal templates. You can buy legal templates written by a lawyer for your website. And this is the perfect option for those who want to make sure that their website is legal and they are blogging legally without spending a ton of money or using free templates that they find on the internet that don't typically cover the specifics you need in the pages. This is what I did. This is the legal template bundle that I purchased for my website, and I recommend this to every single student and client I work with. I will put the link on the screen and in the show notes below for you to check these out. I really, really did my research on these. I searched a very long time to find legal templates that were both number one, affordable, and two, high quality. And Amira, the woman who created these templates, she is an actual lawyer who has helped over 10,000 bloggers and online entrepreneurs with her legal templates. They are amazing. They're very comprehensive and not to mention super, super affordable for a lawyer doing them. She also provides you with updates should any new legal terms need to be added to your template over time. So just recently, there was an update to privacy policies where um, certain like new acronyms and stuff needed to be in there. And she sent us an email and we just added it to our, our privacy policy page. Now, before I found Amira and her legal templates, just to put this into perspective, I was getting quotes for $500 to $1,000 plus for one legal template. One. That's crazy. <laughs> the templates that she provides are plug and play. She shows you exactly where to plug your specific name and info into highlighted sections, everything else she includes for you, and boom, your legal pages are done and ready to put on your site in about 15 minutes. Check out the address on the screen or in the link below to check out her legal template bundles and bonuses. You will not regret it. I really feel that this small investment into your business is, in my opinion, 100% worth it for the peace of mind you get when it comes to knowing your website and your blog are legal. Okay, and the third option is you can use free legal templates that you find on the internet. There are sites out there that offer free legal templates or legal page generators. If you're on a tight budget, you can always research these, but I personally cannot recommend them. You typically get what you pay for. And in my opinion, most of the free legal templates that I research lack the specifics that you need on your legal pages to actually protect you, which is the whole point. And that's not something that I personally want to mess around with. I think investing in legal templates from an actual lawyer can save you thousands and thousands of dollars in legal headaches down the road, but that is a choice you need to make for yourself. Um, there are a lot of free business tools and resources out there that you can use as you build your business, but 
when it comes to the legal side of your business, just I highly recommend investing in an official legal templates for your site. Having said that, if you want to explore your free options, I will put a link to a few below. I personally have not used these, so I'm not endorsing them in any way, but they are a place to start your research if you choose to go this way. And again, I'm not a lawyer, so I, I can't advise you on what to do or how good these free ones are. My personal preference is investing in a professional service like the Paid Legal Templates Bundle as soon as you're able to, as soon as you can afford it, because the investment is it's less than $200. Now, it could save you thousands and thousands of dollars down the line if you get into any legal trouble. All right, then once you have your three legal pages filled out, you can simply highlight them, hit copy, and then paste them into the corresponding page on your site. Now, I can't show you how to do this for each website builder, but if you are using WordPress to design your site, you would go to the backend dashboard here of your WordPress website, and you go down to pages and click add new. So you need to add a new page for each one of these new legal documents, your privacy policy, terms and conditions page, and your disclaimer page. So right here, I'm just gonna call this one privacy policy. And then we're going to copy that entire template that we filled in from where, if you're using, you know, whatever you're using, if you're using a legal template or something from a lawyer or your free one, you're going to paste it in right here and the whole thing will automate. And now your whole thing is in here. And then all you have to do is hit publish. And then you'll do the same thing with your terms and conditions page, as well as your disclaimer page. And then all you're gonna do is come back to your dashboard and add it to your footer so that all of your legal documents are right at the bottom of your website when you scroll down. Now let's go over to Show It, and I'm gonna show you how you can add these legal pages there. Now, if you're using Show It, the website platform that I recommend to all my students and clients who are bloggers or online entrepreneurs, small business owners, then you can simply come to your site tab here, go to pages and click here to add a new page in and you can do the same thing. You can just copy and paste it in. Or if you have one of my templates, you've purchased one of my templates, you have access to a privacy policy right over here, like a template. You're gonna click on that. The format's already set up for you. So you're just gonna take this paragraph that just has dummy text in it and you're going to replace that and paste in your regular privacy policy right here. So then it's all formatted. And if you want, you can go in and, and simply bold these like each heading section if you want, or you can add a space, but that's up to you. It's already laid out for you. And then also it's already connected in your footer. So once you save this, the link is already down here in your footer for you where you have your privacy policy. So it'll automatically link for you. It's already done. All right. You should now have a clear answer to the question. How do I legally protect my website and blog? You now know the three legal pages you must have on your website. You know where to get them and you know how to add them to your site pages. If you don't have these pages yet, make this a priority today. I have put a link with a star next to the legal templates that I use and love and recommend below. You get immediate access to them after you purchase and they come with super simple directions for all of us non-lawyers. So you can really get your legal pages up on your site quickly and easily and get on with your day. That's it for today, guys. Keep creating an impact on the world and I'll see you in the next video.